Okay, so welcome, welcome back, and we are up to uh, deleting the file that you uploaded from the temporary directory. Um, so what we need to do now is actually come down here, um, and we need to create another for loop, which is actually the same as this one again. So if I just get this header, paste it in there. Um, so you could do like functions and to minimize the amount of for loops you're doing here um, so you're not repeating the same code as such but um, well because actually this for loop now is actually the same for loop with a different value in here okay so you could use a function to actually um, minimize this because this for loop to delete is actually exactly the same as this for loop to add apart from the end um, result so we're not adding a file we're actually going to delete the file and um, so to delete the file all we need is unlinks you, so like I said you could use um, a function to actually uh, minimize the uh, repetitive of the code but just for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to keep it simple and not use any extra uh, functions or whatever so we need to unlink a file in the template directory called um, file name and that's it we should be good to go so if I save this out um, actually if I just bring up this and just make it a bit smaller refresh this page okay and if I bring up the file structure wherever it's gone here we go um, now as you can see I won't be able to show you TMP as you can see they've been uploaded there when we did it before so if I just delete that but um, you will not see anything happen in this TMP directory because um, it's basically as soon as it uh, uploads it it's archiving them and then deletes them so technically that happens in less than a second on a good server or a local host or a server that's not really in use um but so it may look like this folder tmp folder is actually useless but it is very important that and uh, it stays there even though it says it's empty the majority of the time and zips is where it'll be uploaded so if i just uh, make this a bit smaller um so you can see the actual files being added to the actual zip file being added into the uh folder so if I create a archive name to say something like my new zip um, choose some files I'm gonna just choose um, these three files here and um, so as you can see we've got three files add files to zip uh, we get a little message here to say adding but um, it's not being added for some reason um, they're not in temp so it's been deleted out of that so let me just have a quick check of what I've done wrong and I'll get back to you okay so what I found is in this um, open zip here this line here what I've now highlighted um, I've spelt misspelt the um, directory name so as you see I put zip in there but if we check up here the actual directory name is zips with an s so if I just put an s there save this out and bring these windows back up um, and if I just refresh this page, click continue, as you can see here, my new zip has been added into the zips folder. Open this up. Um, so as you see, we've got TMP there because of the folder name of TMP. You can do whatever you want, um, mess around with the code to actually get this to change. Um, but I'm just keeping this simple just for the purpose of it's actually adding the file. I'm not really bothered about what it's going to be called. That's up to you to mess around with the code to actually uh, change that yourself. Um, and as you can see there, the uh, files have been added successfully into the um, zip file. So that's basically it. And also, we have, that's a little message there as it loops through the uh, the files. So that's how to add files to a zip. Uh, remember the zip archive you have to tick. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.